WFFD TV presents Gentle Giant with Pam Minnick and Katie Kaufman. Each week, Gentle Giants gives you a look inside the world of majestic draft horses, and this week is no exception. We're at Jackson Fork Ranch in the shadow of the Grand Tetons, not far from Yellowstone National Park, where we'll meet Joe Ricketts. When Mr. Ricketts came here and came to this valley, uh, not only was it going to be developed, but it was uh, fragmented in terms of ownership. And he came in and he uh, took his resources and brought it all together. And, uh, it's, and it'll be like this probably 100 years from now because this is, you know, we're talking about patience and persistence. When Joe talks long term, he talks multiple generations. He talks 50 years from now. Joe is a successful businessman with a passion for Percherons. We'll meet Joe and see his gorgeous ranch and world champion hitch when Gentle Giants returns. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. Joe Ricketts is an entrepreneur with diverse interests, from building companies to raising bison. His love for ranching and agriculture led him to the Denver Stock Show, where he found a new passion, heavy horses. I went to the Denver Stock Show. I went to the arena. I had no idea they were gonna show with draft horses. And I just happened to be standing by the gate that opened up and a six horse hitch came galloping through and my heart started pounding. I could hear the harness, I could feel the hooves, I could see the beauty of the animals and I said, that is glorious. I've got to find out more about this. So I started asking questions and uh, learning about the horses, learning about that industry and um, said, I have the facilities, I might, I might try to get a couple heavy horses. He hired Jordan Hewitt from nearby Montana to put the team together. As we got started, I asked her to put together a budget for the year so that I could question it, we could discuss it, I could give my blessing, and then she could just go do it. So she did. And um, a couple months later, then she went off to buy the horses. A couple months later, I got a, an email from a friend that said, Joe, Somebody just paid the most for a mare at auction ever. So I sent her a note and I said, did you buy that horse? And she said, yes, I bought that horse. I said, you busted the budget. You know, for, you spent more money for one horse than we would get you know, for a lot of horses. And she said, well, I wanted that horse because it was a champion horse. And nobody knew who I was, so every time I held up my paddle, I got everybody's attention, and they were shocked to find out it was a new entry into the, the uh, market of the, this particular industry. So when every other horse came up that I wanted, I held up my paddle, and all the competition for bidding went away. So she said, I bought the other horses between five and $10,000 a piece, and I came within budget. And I said to her, well, you're either the smartest young lady I've ever known, or the luckiest one of the others. It's something he's always dreamed of doing. We had uh, two Clydesdales that he that had been retired from the Budweiser team, and we had them here on the ranch. Um, but uh, in the back of uh, Mr. Ricketts' mind was always like, so someday I would like to, sh you know, show show Percherons, and uh, so we we did it Joe Ricketts style, uh, which meant uh, there's only one, you know, just let's do it the right way. Uh, we went out and got uh, good horses. We uh, had uh, a beautiful hitch uh, built, um, great harnesses, great team to manage it. And uh, Brian Coleman and his folks have been really good at uh, you know, going to the shows and making it work, taking care of the horses. So uh, it's, been, it's been a really good uh, success for us. For a show wagon, Joe went to Hanson Built Hitch Wagons, the most original and stunning wagons in the show ring today. He wanted a color that no one else had, aubergine. We walked into the paint shed and uh, they had all the lights and it was absolutely beautiful. If you look at it from one direction, it's blue. 
If you look at it in a different light, it's purple. If you look at it from another angle, it's black. So that changing color all the way through really sort of makes it Abergene. He hired Brian Coleman, an accomplished Teamster, to train the team and travel to competitions from Colorado to Canada. Within a few years, Jackson Fork Ranch was making their presence known at draft horse competitions. The Jackson Fork Ranch crew snared their first World Six Championship at Calgary against one of the toughest fields in event history. Not only did the world champion six horse hitch competition field 15 rigs, matching the most ever, but for the first time in most committee members' memory, five wagons were called back into the Saddle Dome infield for a drive off. The Jackson Fork team of jet black Pertrons is also the first mare hitch to win the world six. Did you know Percherons are a breed of draft horses that originated in northern France? The Perch province is where the breed got its name. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. Jackson Fork Ranch covers over 1,300 acres in this beautiful valley where bison roam alongside Percherons. In this valley, we have everything that Yellowstone National Park has except the crowds. I enjoy not only the, the beauty of the summer that we're having right now, but I enjoy the beauty of the winter. So I think people that live here appreciate it for, for that type of uh, experience. You also, I mean, if you look at that green valley that now has got bison roaming on it, uh, he preserved that from being developed uh, when he bought up this place. So he's done, I think, he's done Wyoming, he's done this area, the country, a favor by doing that because he's actually preserved a bit of the Wild West. I came here in uh, November of 94 and uh, I just haven't got sick of it yet. It's just uh, real beautiful. I came in love with the country since last year we had about four feet of snow, we have to blow pads so we can feed, feed them. But it's, uh, yeah, it takes, some days it could take 12 hours to go through the day. Getting enough food in Yellowstone National Park may make the winters hard on the bison, but when they're on a ranch where they're kept and they're fed, they, they get along uh, wonderfully well. So our bison are very happy living on this, uh, on this ranch. Joe Ricketts recently retired from TD Ameritrade, the company he founded nearly 30 years ago. He and his wife Marlene enjoy spending time in the beautiful valley. Joe says he's been successful because he works hard and has passionate thoughts about entrepreneurs. An entrepreneur is somebody that uh, really puts their own money at risk. It might be borrowed, but it, it's their own money. If you um, Take somebody else's money, or if you're a manager, you're gonna spend the money differently than if you spend your own. And I can cite examples where people study the stock market and pretend to buy and sell stocks, and then when they take their own money, they make the decisions differently. So being an entrepreneur really means that you have to have your own money invested. And that will make a world of difference to the decisions that you make and how far you might wanna push those decisions and manipulate the effects that come from those decisions into something that's going to result in profits. Joe's newest entrepreneurial venture is High Plains Bison. He has more than 2,000 heads spread over ranches in Canada, Montana, and of course Wyoming. They market the lean, heart-healthy High Plains Bison to restaurants, retailers, and offer packages by mail order. This business will grow beyond my lifetime. It's a wonderful business for me to leave to my grandchildren. It can be grown through generations, both horizontally and vertically. So it's gonna be a, a wonderful asset for me to leave to uh, uh, my heirs, rather than a bond portfolio or something of that sort. When we return, we'll learn more about Jackson Fork Ranch and Joe Ricketts plans to share their incredible Percheron genetics with other draft horse lovers and with visitors to the lodge.
Welcome back to Gentle Giants. The world champion Jackson Fork Percheron Hitch not only gives Joe Ricketts tremendous pride, the offspring of these Percheron mares will provide lasting memories to visitors of Jackson Fork Lodge. Jackson Fork Lodge is just this gem of a property um, located about 30 miles south of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Um, one of our, our lines is, is that we're close to Jackson Hole but far, far enough away. Um, and by that we mean that it's convenient to fly into Jackson. Um, the park is beautiful, but if you wanted to get off the beaten path, you just come 30 miles south and you're in um, Little Jackson Hole, which was the original name for this valley and the Lodge at Jackson Fork. This ranch is a perfect example of how Mr. Ricketts loves to share experiences with other folks. Anybody who comes here is exposed to all the things we have to offer here, the percherons, the fly fishing, the bison. Whether they take advantage of all of it or not, this is certainly there is certainly up to them. But we, we try to give them that the ability that when they get here, it wasn't just, well, I went to a nice place and it was quiet and I got a good night's sleep. It's here's all the things I did. And there's a lot, lots of things he loves about the ranch. He tries to make sure that everybody else gets to enjoy that as well. The lodge has been fixed up for anglers. We're in the Yellowstone ecosystem and the Native American trout is the cutthroat trout in the Yellowstone ecosystem. And there are four subspecies of the cutthroat trout that have evolved in different remote mountain lakes. And they're all in this area. And if you catch all four subspecies, then the governor of Wyoming will give you a certificate that you've caught all four subspecies. The draft horses play an important part, and I didn't think about that. I, I discovered that. Um, we've had a few people come to get married. And when I talked to them, why would you come here to get married? Their response was, we want to be by ourselves. And I thought, oh, how charming, how nice. We tell them we have a, uh, a wagon, and in the wintertime we have a sleigh. And this is kind of fascinating to them because most people haven't had the opportunity to be on a horse-drawn sleigh or a horse-drawn wagon. So that's usually one of the first things they ask for, which then leads into the fact that we have Percherons that are uh, world champions in the barn, and so they always want to come and see them. Jackson Fork Ranch has announced a partnership with Windermere Farms in Spring Hill, Pennsylvania, who has champion Percheron Stallions, truly a world-class mating. Windermere Farms is a third-generation family operation that has been breeding for more than 40 years. One of the benefits of the ranch is to share all of this with guests when they come, especially in the summertime. And while we have guests year-round, it's really the summertime is most important. Well, that conflicts with the show schedule. So if you want to share your Percherons, which Mr. Ricketts does, with other his guests, they're not here. And so we made a decision to move to breeding and a very limited show schedule for 2013 so that when people come here, they get two experiences. They get the experiences of, of a set of world-class horses pulling a hitch, but they also get the experience of many foals. And that's what we're looking for next spring. Next, we have bred all of our mares. And next spring, we're looking for probably maybe 10 babies out there that people can come and see and enjoy just like we do. What we're going to do is, is uh, partner with a, um, a championship Percheron farm from Pennsylvania where they have the stallions. We've got the mares. They've got the stallions. So we're going to work this championship to win awards, mix the teams, win awards, put both names on our wagon and uh, show them off that way and uh, try to achieve the same level of uh, ex experience, recognition, awards that we've achieved with our mares with uh, this other um, uh, farm. And um, then most of our foals will be kept on that farm in Pennsylvania, on the farm in Pennsylvania, because that's where the buyers are. Uh, very few people will come to Northwest Wyoming to uh, buy a, a championship draft horse. And so it looks like it, it's going to be something that will be a lot of fun as well as uh, a lot of new adventure. And uh, we'll be able to uh, have experiences that we wouldn't have if we didn't put these two ranches together. The Hitch has been an ambassador for Jackson Fork Lodge and High Plains Bison. 
As they've traveled across North America at each destination, the stall area displays information about the businesses and is complete with a real buffalo head. Visitors to the barns at shows and fairs can become guests of Jackson Fork Lodge or customers of High Plains Bison. And keeping the six horse hitch on the road takes hard work and dedication. It's a huge commitment. Um, a lot of people who have the heavy horses will compete in their local area um, because uh, it, it's more convenient, but it is, uh, it's a big commitment. Um, first of all, you have to have a number of horses because a horse can always get hurt. Uh, these are super athletes. They're fed a particular diet. They're trained in a particular way. They're handled in a particular way to accommodate their needs to be a super athlete. Teamwork. I mean, you can't, you know, you can, you can't do it without the right animals, but you definitely can't do it without the right people. And uh, people are probably the, the key uh, to keep your a group of uh, people focused to, to get them ready throughout the year. It definitely, that's a passion in itself, and because uh, there's no days off. I mean, uh, you know, they get, they need fed every day. Uh, you know, and even if on their days off of exercising, I mean, they need to have their stalls clean and still have grooming and, you know, so that's really, uh, it takes dedication to bring them to this level. Gentle Giants followed Brian Coleman and the Jackson Fork team on the Six Horse Hitch Classic Series circuit as they traveled from Calgary, Canada to the Nebraska State Fair, where they swept the competition all three days en route to securing their spot in the field at the World Championship Show in Oklahoma City. Joe and Marlene Ricketts were ringside to cheer on the team as they once again finished in the top four in the world. It's a, it's a unique industry in that you really do have, uh, we're all friends, when we go in the ring we want to do the best that we can, and so I mean we really do uh, have a camaraderie and a friendship that uh, that is bigger than the horses and bigger than competition I should say. You know this hitch has taken us to a lot of places and uh, and they've been very consistent. I, this whole year throughout our whole season they've been in the top three in every competition they've been in which shows that they can uh, they can push the limit at any given time. I mean they've they've won but they've always you know even if they have a bad day they're still going to keep you in the top three. There's no denying the success of the Jackson Fork Hitch has been competitive, Joe Ricketts style. It's beauty in nature. I mean, seeing all the horses move together to make a championship team, it, it's, it's like poetry. It's, it's absolutely uh, beautiful to me. I, I still get excited when I see a beautiful team and uh, everything performs well, and um, I look up at the <laughs> driver's face, and his or her face is, you know, really strained and concentrating. I know they're doing a lot to make sure that those horses all uh, move properly and in, in the right way to uh, be able to show the beauty that they're showing. But my heart still pounds when I see the, uh, an exceptional team. We'd like to thank Joe Ricketts and his entire team here at Jackson Fork Ranch for showing us such a good time. We did have a really great time, Pam, and we hope all of you at home certainly enjoyed the program. We want to thank all of you so much for watching, and we'll see you right back here this time next week on Gentle Giants. Bye now.